I'm off to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and by the way, I'm from Scranton, PA, the office. But I've only done a few day trips throughout my life. I have no idea what the gay nightlife is like. I have no idea what the diversity is like, the art scene, the food scene. I'm so stoked to dive in, tank top first, obviously, to the city of brotherly love. I'm staying at the swankiest hotel in town, the Hyatt at the Bellevue, directly on the Avenue of the Arts and a block away from the neighborhood. The rooms are huge, have natural lighting, and spacious walk-in closets. Just the tip, as a guest you get a free membership to the fitness center, which is ranked number two in the best hotel gyms in the US. It's time to go out and explore the city. Well, it's hot as fuck and I'm in Philadelphia. It's literally 73 degrees and this is the only tank top I have. So I was stumbling upon nuts and bolts with a Z and there happened to be a really sexy man named Anthony, who's the owner. Hey guys. How old is this place? It's a little over a year. Wow, and it's like really the only gay clothing store in town. The only one. What's like your aesthetic here? Try to get as many local designers in as we can. I feel like I have to try something on now. Um, yeah, I definitely. Mean, I do see those those harnesses in the back. <laughs> well, let me know which one you want. <laughs> oh, my mom's gonna love this. People call it the city of brotherly love, and obviously they were super sweet in the store, but I wanna know why people love Philly. The most special part about Philadelphia is how we have such a diverse group of people that live together and how well we get along. Everybody kinda knows each other, but it's a big enough city that you don't always run into the same people all the time. I it's like it. It's a lot cleaner than, it's than clean. New York. It doesn't smell like piss. Uh, not even in the alleyways. Not the alleyways, even in the alleyways. It's actually got cute alleyways. And it's got cute little complicated trees. It's the birthplace of the gay civil rights movement in America as well. In 1965, it was illegal to be gay in every single state except for Illinois. In 1965, a group of 39 people stood right here outside of Independence Hall and had the first major organized protest advocating for equal rights amongst gays and lesbians. These peaceful protests, which laid the groundwork for Stonewall riots in 1969, transformed a small national campaign into a civil rights movement. Where am I? Rocky Steps. So out of breath. The Rocky Steps are smack in front of the Philly Museum of Art, which is the third largest museum in the country. But just the tip, go on the Scandalous Tour, revealing controversy in art and sexuality. My favorite museum was the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts, the first solo museum exhibition displaying the work of castles in the United States, pushing the envelope, creating awareness of transgendered bodies. This is a bronze casting of one of the clay bashes that castles makes, and the idea is that this will one day be a monument um, in, in a place where violence against sort of memorializing um, this violence that happens that we're all witness to. It's time to explore the food scene that puts Philly at the top of the game. I hit up Serpico on South Street, created by Peter Serpico, who helmed the Momofuku Empire, designing an open space of new American cuisine with lavish Manhattans, martinis, and extravagant beets. I ventured to Fishtown, which is basically the Brooklyn of Philly, and ate at Root, which had tons of small plates to share and was inspired by French, Italian, and Spanish cuisine. It's time to get my Mexican brunch on at Mission Taqueria. We opened six months ago, so we just hit our six month mark last Saturday. It's kind of like eternal summer in here anyway. The material palette in the restaurant is so light and bright and all the drinks are really colorful and refreshing. And the brunch is fantastic. One of my favorite things to recommend to people is to go to the Reading Terminal, uh, which is like the big market. Smack in Center City Market East, it's the nation's oldest farmer's market supporting all local vendors. There isn't one chain restaurant. What's epic about Philly is that every weekend there's a vast amount of activities to fit whatever you're into. I'm hitting up a German beer festival, which happens to have a beer less show. Just the tip, there are beer festivals pretty much every weekend in the fall. I went on the gay social app, Hornet, and discovered a local bear party on Fridays from 5 to 9 at Taboo. Ravi's gonna get his bear on. How's the bear community here? <laughs> the bear community is great. Um, we've been doing this for ooh, three years now, and Shit, it's been three years. thriving. Yeah, it's been really great. It's time to tear up the neighborhood. Starting at Boxers, a gym bar with pool tables, jocks, daddies, and sports dudes. U Bar, open at 11 a.m. daily. The neighborhood cheers local jaunt, and it's packed on Sundays. Tavern on Kamak. 
a chill piano bar downstairs with an upstairs where you're guaranteed to meet a hottie in the club. I'm at Mike's Up and you're not allowed to film in here. Leather Daddy Bear Bar, I'm wearing the harness I got earlier. Upstairs is pretty chill, downstairs anything goes, holla! What do you do when you drink? Get toasted, where on Walnut Street. This all-inclusive lesbian bar which opened January 2017 crushes it with beer pong, sick dance beats, and cocktails that are off the chain. Woody's, the place where you meet up with your crew or make a new one. Where everyone goes, you'll find a mix of every type of gay and dance until the club shuts down. It's two o'clock, the bars are closed. Where am I supposed to go? Huh? Is there... Okay, besides home. The one bar that's open that I attend and I don't go out is Boyer. What's Boyer like? Club, mixed up venue, great music, great DJs. The music was incredible. The guys were so hot. The drag queens were nailing it. And I was dancing my face off. There's uh, gay pizza over on 13th Street. Gay pizza is the perfect way to end your night. I mean, who doesn't like macaroni and cheese pizza? You must be joking me. There's a yes, get your, like, get your, get your history straight, straight in your nightlife, nightlife gay. Yes. <laughs> Philadelphia, you have been absolutely rad. The history, the culture, the art, the protests, the civil rights movement started here. You know, we learned so much about LGBTQ history here. And the gay bars give you a gamut of different options of things that you could be interested in and you could pass on. Uh, we went to a lot of incredible restaurants. The food scene here is sick. The people have been super friendly. No one's throwing me that much face for using a selfie stick. Robbie Round the World signing off. See you on my next adventure. Robbie Round the World.